In healthcare, we can use the p-chart or fraction defective chart anytime we have a numerator and a denominator and it's either good or bad. You know, it's not that, you know, the patient developed five bed sores, you're just saying they developed bed sores, yes or no. And so what we want to do is take our data and let's get into our p-chart data. So you can see here we have things like patient transfers over total, c-sections over deliveries, uh, patients that develop uh, bed sores over a number of bed sores. And we can literally take this, just select that data with your mouse. You can click on the QI macros and choose P chart. Or if you click on the QI macros control chart wizard, it will ask you, um, can there be more than one defect per unit? Well, patients that develop bed sores, no. If you were counting bed sores, that would be a different thing. So that'll give us a P chart of bed sores, patients that develop bed sores. And so here we can see our upper control limits. And these control limits vary because the number of patients that might have developed bed sores are vary over time. So again, we can see here we're in statistical process control and it's 0.01, so that's 1% approximately of patients that are developing bed sores. We'd like to get that down to zero. We could also look at some other kinds of data. Uh, patients successfully weaned from mechanical ventilation, met errors over doses, hand hygiene criteria met, over opportunities, C-sections births, uh, we could see radiology repeat reports over total exams, because we have to repeat these things and that's unnecessary radiation. So we could do the control chart wizard, and again, repeats are just one per. So here we go, the QI macros will draw a chart and show that it looks like we're actually declining here. We had some out of control points back here and then we started to bring it under control out here in the future. So this probably shows some process change in here. Now I'm not going to try and show that. Um, my guess is it might have fallen about here. And just for grins, I should try and see if there's a process change there. Yeah, so we drop down and significantly reduce that. We have an out-of-control point here. If we redo stability analysis, you can see we're in control here. We got a little out of control here. And we need, we need to make some improvements probably to find out what's going on in there. But we're back uncontrolled. So that's how easy it can be to start to use a p-chart to do statistical process control and measure and monitor all of your healthcare processes that are involve fraction defective kinds of things, good or bad outcomes. And it's pretty easy to do using the QI macros.